Welcome. So what we have here is a linear equation of y equals 6x minus 3. So let's go ahead and quickly graph this. To do that, though, we want to first make sure we labor our slope, which in this case is 6. We can reach with blah, 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 which we can rewrite as a fraction of 6 over 1. The reason why I want to rewrite as a fraction, because we understand the definition of slope is the change in the y over the change of x. And we know that our y-intercept, we want to rewrite as a coordinate point. 0 comma b. So we have b. We want to write it as 0 comma b. Since this is a negative 3, it's going to be 0 comma negative 3. Now I'm just going to create my x and my y axis. There's my y axis. There's my x axis. And we're going to have some kind of big numbers here. So I'll try to go, go to units up to 10. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so my y-intercept's at 0, comma, negative 3. So I'm going to go down and plot my y-intercept 0, comma, negative 3. Then I need to go ahead and find my slope, use my slope triangle to find my next point, which is 6 over 1. So the change in y is positive 6. So I need to go up 6 units on the y-axis from my y-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm just going to kind of create a slope triangle for this. Then I need to go up over 1. All right, So you can see I've created a slope triangle that represents the slope between two points that are going to fall on the line. And since now I have two points that fall on the line, I can now continue this line indefinitely in the positive and in the negative direction. Now you can see that my y-intercept is at 0, comma, negative 3. My x-intercept is actually going to be at 1 half, comma, 0. But it might not be totally obvious to you on why that is the case. And we'll learn how to figure that out a little bit later. Um, but just to understand this graph is going to continue in the positive, negative direction. And we first plot the y-intercept. Then we use the slope to find our next point. Thanks.